Ladies and gentlemen, have I got a video for you today. It is five star Joker gameplay. But unfortunately, it's not mine. Uh, when the event was on, I had a few IRL problems going on. I couldn't really participate in the event how I wanted to. So I'm lagging a little bit behind everybody else. But one of my amazing subscribers who goes by the name of Amos recorded some footage for me and uploaded it to YouTube. He did offer me his account, bless him, but I think that goes against the TOS of the game. But we're going to go through two amazing videos here. They're very short, but very good of Story 28 and just watching Jacob being an absolute monster. Now, I did predict this when I did the first initial thoughts of him. His initiative is more or less guaranteed because he has a dagger. So he outspeeds everybody who hasn't got a dagger. And then you've got a 50-50 chance of getting an initiative. So today, I'm going to walk you through his video, explain what's going on, explain why it's so critical that certain parts of it worked. And just, yeah, basically just break down the hero, break down the uh, video, and just, yeah, I cannot wait. So, let's just go over his abilities. So, he's got the Brace of Pistols. So, at 5 star, this does 200% attack, and it's just an instant attack. It grants your initiative as well. He can assassinate, which is nice. Now, he's got the ability called Mutilate, which attacks an enemy for three times for 115% damage. Absolute monster of attack. So that is phenomenal when it's uh, like just off the bat and it recharges after three ticks. He's got Stunning Blow, so strikes for 175% damage and inflicts stun for three ticks. So you, because you get initiative so often, you can literally stun them before they even get a hit off you and you can just absolutely wreck them. It's phenomenal. Um, he's got a passive ability which uh, attack and defense is permanently increased by 15% and at the start of combat a 50% chance to increase attack and defense by another 15% so it just if you do get that coin flip you're doing even more damage and you're taking less damage that only applies for three ticks but by then the fight's over and he's also got the gladiator ability so boosts critical chance by 20% when facing a single enemy so whenever you're up against a single enemy, you've got a 20% chance more to crit. So it's absolutely phenomenal. So we're going to break the video down now. I hope you enjoy it. Um, drop a like. If you're in my Discord, show some love to uh, Amos because, yeah, he's kind lad. Uh, absolutely just, yeah, done me a solid. So uh, just before I go any further, I'll show you the elite training that um, Amos put into Jacob. And this is it. So he's got four in his health, five in his attack. Three in his defense, three in his dodge, four in his crit, and four, three in his crit bonus. Oh, three in his crit chance. So he's, he's, he's ETD him a fair amount, and that's what helps him with this run. So we're going to go full screen, and we're going to break this down. So I hope you enjoy it, because this is going to be phenomenal. Uh, so as you can see, little breakdown here. Right, so the first thing he comes up against is a trap. Now... He has some very good RNG, and that's the one thing I do love about this game. If the RNG goes your way, you can do something really special, and he does it in this video. So there is a little bit of luck involved in this, but nevertheless, it's still phenomenal. So he's got a 5% chance here. He makes it. Because of that, he's not taking any poison damage, so Jacob is extremely healthy. All right, just take a look at his health. He's got 2,800 health. Just bear that in mind for the next video uh, The next video that we do. So he's stunned him, mutilated him, he's dead. All right, that's it. So here, Jacob's got the assassination ability. He does go for the assassination ability. Me, personally, with a 77% chance, I would have just attacked him because you get initiative, you do damage, and by the time you stun him and mutilate him, you're not taking any damage. But he... he, he Threw his big boy pants on, went for the 77% chance assassination, and did it. There you go. 71% chance here. He goes for it. Oh, he doesn't go for it, so he didn't go for it this time. But because this gentleman wields an axe, initiative is granted. Look at the damage already. He has taken 5k off of that enemy in one hit. No, 9k, sorry, Jesus. And now he's mutilated him. He's dead. Again here, no qualms in getting initiative because it's a sword hero, a sword enemy. As I said, the only time you could lose initiative is against a dagger enemy. So, don't think there's any in this mission. So, Jacob is having just the funnest time in the world. So, he jumps down. I think he goes for the assassination here, if I'm right. He's making up his mind. He doesn't know what to do, but he decides to assassinate. Now, 
goes off, gets that off. I mean, these heroes are just melting now. This makes the run as well. 5% chance to make this jump. Boom, does it. Amazing. Assassinates him for the win. Again, I would have just attacked him outright. Anytime that like you can stun someone, I always go for the surprise attack. You get an issue. If you get the damage off, then you stun them. Then you take your... um. You know, you just go to town on them. With that 77% chance, if that fails, it's a very different story. You're going to take a lot of damage when you can avoid it. So, he goes into this room here, food and drink. I mean, look at that crit. He's just absolutely annihilating him. I think he goes for a cheeky little assassination here. Again, I would have just probably stunned him and gone to town on him. But it, it, you might as well use the assassination ability. That's what you've got it there for. Now... He fails that trap, 5% chance. You can see the poison is ticking down, but it's not too bad because he's not failed any other jumps so far. This is going to tick away, but he's going to be fairly healthy still when this finishes. So, gets the stun off. Creates the, I mean, this is a heavy heart armoured fella, and he's down. He's absolutely food and drink. Jacob is just an absolute wrecking machine. He really is. So he comes to this fight. I think he saves. He uses the. Oh, he does stun this fella. But I don't think he uses the mutilate ability. But you can see that poison damage is critting for 200 damage a go. But that bloke's just staying stunned forever. He gets a hit off, but it doesn't matter. He's done. He gets the mutilate ability off. His health isn't looking great. But this is the beauty. Jacob and his initiative being such a fast paced hero with a dagger, great weapon speed. He's just going to basically stun everybody here straight away and then mutilate them. And he's won a video game. <clears throat> so as you can see, stunned, mutilated, done, dusted. See you later. Stunned again, just doesn't stand a chance. Now he uses his saved his brace of pistols. Didn't need them at all throughout the whole of that mission. Now, the brace of pistols are very good because if you do come against up against a dagger enemy, you can use that ability there and you will grant initiative. So, you, you know, there is a way around of guaranteeing that you do get initiative against these faster speeded heroes. So, yeah, he's just got so such a great toolkit. So he's hit Tornamada for only just under 2k damage there with one brace of pistol. He's going to do it again. This one crits, 5k damage, boom, see you later. Already taken a 25, or I think it's 26,000 k uh, enemy down, to nearly 1,900 already. So 19,000, sorry. Stuns him, Tornado ain't seeing the light of day now. He really isn't. I think he might pop out of his stun here, and he just mutilates him again. And that's it, Tornado is done, he's in the bin, Good night. See you later. I mean, Jacob is an absolute monster. It did obviously take a fair bit of um, RNG. As I said, he passed a lot of traps. Sometimes you are going to fail that, but it doesn't matter. So we've got the video. This one we're going to look at as well. He asked me who, like, who, what footage would I like? And me and Anthony have got a love for Polydorus. And we, we love him. And you'll see why in this uh, video. And I also told him to bring in Alcibiades because Alcibiades has got the massage, which increases your, which heals you, plus increases your weapon speed. Now, someone like Jacob, who's already absolutely lightning, just means that if you do, if you, if the RNG doesn't go your way and you don't crit as much, then yeah, you, you're going to have a good time. So let's go to the full screen. Let's play this out. So as we said in the last video. Jacob had 2,800 health. As soon as we... Right, so he's already at... He's just taking damage. He's at 3,080. I mean, it's just a massive health difference. Like, that trap damage has just been completely negated, technically. If he didn't poison himself, he's he's not. He's still above what he would have had when he went in there without a Polydorus. So it just makes like the health pool so much bigger. But he failed it. Doesn't matter why, because he's got Alcibiades. So all this damage is taken, and these poisons are critting. I think it's brutal that they crit, but right, assassinates him, gets him in the bin. Still not needing to heal, takes out a cheeky little assassin here. Boom, does him. Down he goes. Food and drink now, just initiative, mutilate. He's, he's just gone. He's absolutely gone. Uh, as you can see, the poison's still ticking away on Jacob. 
and this is where like it just shows you that some heroes i think can't fail content and this is one of them he gets so jammy here again look passes it done absolutely done assassinates him so he's at 1700 elf and the poison's still ticking i mean he's still quite away through the level when the poison was ticking it's just stopped so he went from 2,800 health down to 1,700 health just through pure poison damage. He gets this off. This bloke ain't surviving much longer. Even if he come, breaks out of that stun, nope, not at all. He's not getting a, he's not getting a lick. Right, so he's used one of his abilities now. Alkibai, just, just to heal him up. He has got another trap coming up. So if he fails it, it gives him that little bit of leeway. We all know that Jacob can go through very... Um, he stunned him this time, and that's what I said. I would just absolutely stun him, guaranteed not to take damage. Fails the trap again, but it don't matter. Why? Because you've got Alcibiades. Doesn't matter how much poison damage you take. Alcibiades is going to um, just heal that off for you. And people say he, uh, he was a terrible hero, things like that. I like him, uh, and this is why. So he's coming to the last room now. So he's got Alcibiades' abilities here. So he's going to heal him, give him increased weapon speed. And then with Apollodorus, he's going to give him increased crit chance for this whole room. And you just watch this. This just goes absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So just watch this. This is just pure fun. Um, notice when he did this enemy last time, he got hit. Um, Alcibiades has now increased his weapon speed. So, watch this. Stuns him. Does him. Hits him again. He's now got the mutilate ability out. Because his weapon speed is so fast now, the second enemy doesn't get a chance to hit him. Normally, that enemy would come over and hit Jacob because of how long it's taken him to get through it. But because your weapon speed is, um, is increased, you're getting to your attack before they are. And this is just crucial. Just takes him out. Not a lick of damage then. He goes through this whole room, apart from the poison damage, without taking a lick of damage off of anybody because his weapon speed has been increased. You're going to guarantee initiative. You're going to absolutely ruin everybody. Uh, I don't know if he gets he gets a nice little chunk of damage there. This one crits again. Stuns him into oblivion. And then just absolutely goes to town on him. Sword of Mater doesn't stand a chance. Uh, with the increased crit chance that Polydorus has given him, that's it game over dead done see you later he's absolutely in the bin see you later good night and i mean jacob is a phenomenal hero I and mean, as i was saying previously i think before i got distracted he can solo this but there's a lot of rng involved but there is just certain content that in my eyes if you bring in the right team certain heroes cannot fail and jacob is one of them he's just with a healer and someone who increases his health and as i said gives him that crit chance in a uh, not increases his health uh, increases his health of a polydorus and heals him as well he's just unstoppable and it's the same with female avor Bayak, um gene you, you just i there's not a bit of content that i can't see these not getting past with the healers that are in the game and as i said my man apollodorus just that you do not understand that like that health buff is huge for someone like jacob who isn't the tankiest his, his health pool isn't the biggest it still gave you a phenomenal health increase so yeah just absolutely banging hero i can't wait to five star him i really can't uh i'll take him out into some other testing for his all try and go through a couple of missions maybe some of the hardest in the campaign but it will be at least two events minimum um until I can get him again, uh, until I can get him five starred. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a thumbs up if you do did enjoy it. If you're in my Discord, give Amos a big old thank you. And I hope you all have a, a fantastic day. All stay safe. I did hiccup then when I said that. And good night. Take care.